Good morning, everyone. Daniel here. Um, today, this morning, it's early in the morning. I'm uh, barely having my coffee, uh, but I saw that Marvel just dropped the trailer for Loki. So let's take a look. Let's take a look at this new official trailer for the series Loki, streaming on Disney Plus. Uh, we are halfway through the Winter Soldier, Falcon and the Winter Soldier. So it's pretty apropos that we get this trailer. As Loki comes out on June 11th. So let me go ahead and <clears throat> get this ready. All right. Let's watch the trailer and then we'll talk a little bit about it and what to expect from the series. I know what this place is. Uh -oh. Let's watch the trailer and we'll see what we expect from the series. I know what this place is. The timekeepers have built quite the circus. And I see the clowns are playing their parts to perfection. Oh, so Loki is aware of where he is. Big metaphor guy. I love it. Makes you sound super smart. I am smart. I know. Okay. Okay. Please sign to verify this is everything you've ever said. This is absurd. Sign this too. Oh, that's funny. That's good. We protect the proper flow of time. You picked up the Tesseract, breaking reality. Okay. I want you to help us fix it. Why me? I need your unique Loki perspective. Do I get a weapon? Nah. in this Loki variant. Luckily, he believes in himself enough for the both of us. Fight! It's adorable that you think you could possibly manipulate me. I'm ten steps ahead of you. You're not big on trust, are you? You can trust me. Loki, I've studied almost every moment of your entire life. You've literally stabbed people in the back like 50 times. <laughs> I'd never do it again. Once again, very good trailer. Very good trailer. Tom Hiddleston is just... Uh, he's so charismatic. It's... It's incredible. So, let me run through this real quick with you guys, and then I'll go into some of my comments. Uh, wow, one thing I don't think we were certain of was that Loki knows about the time variance. Um, uh, TVA, whatever the... I don't remember the A stands for. But... So Loki is aware of their uh, their presence, which is interesting. Uh, I like I like that Loki. I think one of his best qualities as a villain or an antagonist to the Avengers is not so much he, that he's strong, that he's powerful like Thanos, right? Uh, is that he's clever. And listen, the Avengers have some clever guys, but Loki is on a different level. Uh, I love the visual, the visual joke of him signing everything he ever said, which for somebody that is supposed to be the master of deception and mischief, and I feel like that stack of like that stack of papers is a little short, right? It, like feels a little small compared to somebody that's uh, normally talking their way out of trouble. Uh, Owen Wilson? N no, not Owen Wilson. Oh boy. Oh, geez. 
Yeah, it is Owen Wilson. Okay. Sorry, I get the, I get the Wilson brothers confused. Uh, Owen Wilson is, looks great as his character, as the TVA's uh, liaison or whatever. Um, I like it. I like it a lot. I It's hard to see him in different roles sometimes because he's just been that Owen Wilson character for so long in a lot of places. Uh, I like all the stuff that's going on. I do think that this is going to be... This trailer gave me vibes of if you guys have ever seen Catch Me If You Can with Leo, with Leo DiCaprio and uh, Tom Hanks. Uh, like, this feels kind of like that, but obviously set up in the time and space. Um, this will be probably a little bit different because it feels like this feels like what would have been the sequel where they get that guy to work for the FBI and catch other people and fix stuff. Um, but, you know, he's always going to try to run away. I don't see an antagonist as far as like, oh, here's a third party that's kind of interested. I feel they're going to reveal that later. I don't think it's going to be. I think the beginning of the series will probably be like Loki versus or antagonistic with the TVA. Uh, but after all, I think, you know, you have to remember this Loki is the one from the end of Avengers, not the one that had gone through a full redemptive arc at the end of Infinity War. Now, he may be aware of what happens to him in the future because I'm sure that they, they've caught him up to speed, maybe. Um, but yeah, this was a very Loki-centric trailer. Uh, I'll be interested to see some of the other characters. Um, I think, yeah, I think that about does it. I think that is a very good trailer to get you invested into watching this show. Uh, I know there's been mixed feelings about both WandaVision and Falcon and the Winter Soldier. If you've seen our coverage, I've enjoyed both of those shows very much. So I'm definitely looking forward to this a lot. Uh, I don't know how long this series is going to be. I'm guessing it's also going to be episodes around 40 minutes, like Falcon and Winter Soldier. Uh, I could definitely see this one going, like, this could be the first season of something. And if it's successful, maybe just expanding upon this story because this is a Loki out of time so they can just kind of keep you know doing things with them um, so uh, I'm excited this was very good like I mentioned um, but let me know in the comments below what did you think of the trailer did I miss any big big easter eggs or anything you, you saw uh, I know we have those big statues of the three entities I don't remember their name the the living tribunal maybe um, yeah there's a lot. I'm sure I'll watch a bunch of videos doing a breakdown and I'll be like, oh, yeah, how could I miss that? I do wonder if that cat. Who's that cat? Why is that cat important? That's what I want to see. I want to see those videos about. Think 10 things you missed about this cat on the Loki trailer. Like, OK, well, I did miss all those things. So uh, very excited, very excited for the stuff that's coming up next. Uh, once again, we are on our way to 100 subscribers. So. If you're watching this video somehow and you're not subscribed, please subscribe. We're doing a giveaway at 100 subscribers, but we'll do a month of HBO Max. Uh, there's some really good stuff coming up on HBO Max in the next few weeks. So hopefully we get there by then and we can pick a winner. Uh, all the how to enter and everything will be in the description of this video. Once again, I've been Daniel. You can find me at Echo Spider on Twitter. Um, you can find us doing the podcast live. We just talked about Godzilla vs. Kong um, this weekend. Very interesting conversation because the podcast was split into two. Uh, then we also talk about a few other things, comics we've been reading and things to recommend. We had a pretty interesting question of the week. Uh, so if you go back and watch that video, the question was, give us your superhero porn, uh, porn star name. If you have one, leave it in the comments um, uh, because we got some pretty funny things from the people that were watching live. Uh, well, once again, this has been Daniel. Thank you for watching and you guys have a good time. Bye-bye.